Hello again, here we are to continue with our single page application project. Um, and uh, let me fix a few things here. So first of all, I've got this uh, problem with the top header here. So I'm gonna set the margin top. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna remove this. Maybe I'm gonna remove this height 100% for now. Um, what I wanna do is I just wanna get the content area centered on the page. And our, our page is gonna be set up where you know we have these divs and every div has a content div inside it. Okay, so so this outer div is sort of our container, and then we've got this content area inside where the content sits, right? So what I want to do is I want to place this content kind of in the middle of the page, right? So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to say, you know, content, you are going to be, you know, let's do a max width, of you know 800 for now and then um, let's set the uh, margin left to auto margin right to, to auto and then margin top and I, what I want is I want the margin top to be about um, the height of the header right so so we'll put in our, our variable here for header height. Oops, I got a mistake there. Um, on line 12, actually, maybe I saved before I typed the semicolon or something. Yeah, so so that's no problem, right? So now remember, we're always editing the SCSS file, and we're not going to edit the style CSS, okay? Um, so anyway, so there we go. And I, I forgot, I set the, uh, the nav here to fixed, but really what I want to do with this is I want to set the left to zero and the top to zero. Right now I'll save. See, I think I did it again where I saved before, um, before the error went away. Yeah, there we go, all right. So so anyway, so uh, sometimes that can be annoying. Maybe save off saving, I, I save too often, right? But anyway, there we go, we've got, got it working. So now I'll refresh here, oh wait. Oh, maybe I still have an error. Let me fix this, right? So I got, uh, what, is my, what is my problem? Let me go check here. <clears throat> so what does it say? It says, um, oh, head height, right? I misspelled that. So this should be header height, right? Let's save that, and uh, hopefully that will fix everything, right? Oh, there we go. So now I've got my page here, and you can see the content area is is that blue area right there, right? So it's centered on the page and it's maximum of 800. And so it should shrink down smaller if the page gets smaller. I'm kind of envisioning this as a mobile app. So so anyway, so that'll get us started there, right? So that's working pretty good. Um, I want to fix this navigation bar here a little bit too. Let's put a couple styles on that. So uh, what I think I'm going to do is um, give each one of these nav items, let's get rid of the text decoration first. Okay, and then let's give each one of these um, padding on the um, on the top and bottom of zero and padding on the left and right of half an M. Okay, so we'll save that. And there we go, so that's looking a lot better. Maybe I want to have a little more padding on the first one. So what I'm going to do is find the first one. Now, uh, if I use this, what I want to do is I want to use first child, okay? The thing is, in our case, the... Um, See, there I go, saving before it's ready, right? So the thing in our case, though, is that the A tag is nested inside of a list item. So really, inside this list item, that A tag is the first child. There aren't any other children. And this one right here is also a first child because inside this list item, there's only one item. So this is a first child, right? But the, the list item here, these guys are all siblings. And so this is the only first child. This is like the second one, the third one, and this is the last child, right? So 
So how are we going to treat that? Why don't we do it this way? Why don't we say, um, change this to nav li first child a, right? So now that'll get the first a, you know, or the first list item and the a inside that list item. And for that guy, let's say, um, let's do padding on the left side of 1m. So that'll have twice as much padding on the first one, okay? So we'll save that, and uh, and really we're just adding a little space right here in front of the first link. Yeah, there we go. So that looks a lot better, right? Um, and then we could, you know, we could add a lot more styles here too, but uh, that's just getting us started. Um, so now when I click on my links, you should see that we have, you know, the different pages showing up, right? So now what I want to do is I want to add some some more content, right? So let's go to our our page here. And before we worry about anything else, let's worry about the login and the register, okay? So for login, let's include a form. Okay, so there's our form. I'm putting a form tag here. And then I'll need a, you know, some input elements. I'll need an input name, input password, and a submit button. And I like to put these inside of a paragraph tag. So I'm going to do type is text, right? So this is input type text. And I think what I'll do is I'll add the placeholder attribute. And I'll say username, right? So this will be our placeholder text. And then let's copy that. And for the second one, this is going to be type password. Okay, so type password, we'll treat this field as a password field, and we'll set the placeholder text to password. And then what we'll do is we'll put in the um, another input field, and this one will be type submit. And this one doesn't get a placeholder. This will just be our submit button, right? So now we've got the input field, the password field, and the submit button, right? So we'll uh, we'll take a quick look here. I'll go to uh, login. Oh look, there we go. Login, username, password, and remember we use the reset. So these are really kind of minimal style. There's nothing there, but we'll add more style in the future, right? There's my submit button. Okay. So uh, yeah, clicking the submit button will refresh the page. So that's why I click on that and it goes back to garage sale, right? But we're gonna we're gonna handle that later, okay? So anyway, so we've got that going on. Let's um, let's add another link. So you know, I like this, but you know, if uh, if we wanted to go, like, let's imagine, you know, you're you're looking at this page and you're thinking, you know, what I don't have a user account, I want to register, but it would be nice if we had a little register but link down here different from the button, but it'll just be some text, like a text link, right? And we can do that really easily here by doing href, right? So I'll add a link and I'll say register, right? And for the link here, we're going to go to the, uh, to register, right? So I'm just going to use the ID name of this div down here that will have our register form in it, okay? So clicking this link will change the hashtag at the top, and then our navigation that we created earlier will pick up on that and uh, take us to that div, right? So let's test it. So I'll refresh here, and when I log in, you know, I decide, you know, I don't have a login account, so I'll, I'll, make, a, I'll make a new account by clicking register, and then it takes us to register, right? <clears throat> so we're, we're making pretty good progress. Um, let's, uh, let's borrow this form. So this form is mostly going to be the same. I'm going to copy that and then uh, paste it here under register. And if you if you see this link under register, really this one should go to login, right? So what we'll do is we'll change this to login and change that to login, right? And for the register page, maybe we need a password field, but we also need a, you know, a confirm password. So I'll make another password field. Okay, let's test it now. So here we go. We've got our, our site there. I'll click 
login and there's the login page. I'll click here to go to register and if I click here I can go back to login. So anyway, so that's working pretty good and the back button works, right? Okay, so uh, there we go. So thanks for watching and uh, you know we'll continue this. It'll take a while to get through to all the details but I'm just going to kind of set this up and this will be sort of our framework, you know, um, in HTML for running the whole app, okay? So anyway, thanks again.